You know, there's a, there's a guy, you guys probably all see him pushing, right here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now listen. Let me just say this. Come here, come here real quick. Come with me. All right. There, man. Number on, one. Baby. Come on, baby. I know you're breathing, but look. Let's look. This is what a life change looks like. Come on. Okay? Oh, yeah. This is what a life change looks like. And, and how I can identify it is because I've been there. It's ugly. Remember I said it was ugly? Okay? It's out of breath. It's, it's, it's I wanted to quit a hundred times, and I didn't. It's that you fell down, and you weren't down for the 10 count, and at nine, you got back up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Guys, if you think winning isn't about failing, you're so wrong. Winning has everything to do with failing. Making bad choices is the only way you can start making good choices. Look, you know who I have uh, mad respect for? For anybody that has the courage to really change their life. That's what I got mad respect for. Look, the story of the guy that's parents <coughs> gave him it all, that's cool, it just wasn't mine. So I don't look for that story. I look for people that have been through the sewer, that literally have had addictions, have had massive problems, were the least likely to make it, and then somehow, against all odds, they decided they're gonna get a piece. And they decided to stay relentless and not quit. And winning started to recognize the things that they were doing. Then they started to win. The way he worked today, listen, you got a family, right? Yes. Okay, you run a store, right? I do. Guys, he runs a very, very successful store. I'm gonna give him a hug. Even listen. Though he's awesome. Guys, and I want to say something to you. Um, some of you out here, you're salespeople, and you're thinking that we just train salespeople. That's what we do. We train winners, okay? We train winners. I don't care what your title is. Call me the janitor. Show me the money. Can you be the best in the world at what you do? Are you increasing your value every day, right? Are you so good that you make your competition want to quit? Like, fuck it, I'm not even going to do it anymore. It's too good. I'm out. That's that I want. I mean it. But long story short, he works for an owner. He runs his whole store. This guy, on his ground, he's a savage, am I right? His salespeople, mad respect for this guy. This guy knows the car business better than anybody else. He knows how to make massive money. He knows how to scale a store. But guess what? Everybody's got a hole. You feel me? His hole is he needs to be healthy for his family, okay? His goal isn't to make a lot of money and die 20 years too young so his wife marries someone else, spend the money, and they raise their kids. What are we, do, what are we doing all this work for? What do we want all this for? To give it over to someone else because you didn't take care of yourself? No ways. And I see it. I see it everywhere. And because you guys are working most of the time for people that are one-dimensional, let me explain what that means. I want you to make a lot of money. And that's all they tell you. So you give up everything else in your life, your family, your health, right? Your self-love, you give it all up just to make the dollar. And then when you get it, you realize you're empty inside. And the only next win you can get is a five second deposit of a check in the bank account. Okay, I've been there. Guys, when I sold cars, I was depositing $50,000 plus take home checks. As a GM, $200,000 plus take home checks after taxes. I'd go home and I would just look at my wife cold. I was like, man, how do I know to tell you guys to take care of the people that matter in your life? Because I didn't at one point. How do I know not to get out of shape? Because I was you at one point and a guy broke me. He broke me, man, he took my soul. And I, I thank him every day of my life for taking my soul because it's the person that I am today. And if I wouldn't be this guy, you wouldn't be here with me. That's my deal. You're doing for you, right? For self gain and to get some things in your life that, that you want, that you always wanted to prove to everybody you had it or prove to yourself that you had it. But it's really about you proving to everybody else and the people that you really, you know, maybe that look up to you or that will look up to you in the future that, that they can have it too, because you did it. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of bigger than just us right now, okay? And some of you don't really thinking about that. When I was in my 20s, I mean, I wasn't thinking about that. I was like, dude, I want to make some money. You know what I mean? I want to deposit one of those big checks. Cool. Take care of yourself, okay? Now look, when I watched him push through, that was great. Some of you guys in here, you're in really good shape and you're rocking and rolling. Here's the goal. Just never quit, okay? Never freaking quit. And I'll tell you this, there's got to be a belief that you have in yourself to stay in the sales industry. 
when you stay in great shape, that belief can be there. It's really hard when you don't love yourself to believe in yourself. Would you agree? I love yourself. Yeah, yeah, I mean it. I mean, I'm just telling you. I mean, how hard is it to sit down and tell somebody that they should do something when you really don't believe in yourself that they should do it? Yeah. It's not going to happen. There is a belief, and you got to take care of yourself to be able to maintain and increase that belief every day. Okay? So, it's all about sales training weekend. It's all about closing. It's all about us getting in life what we want. But it's also about us staying healthy and actually remembering that, look, we want to be able to be uncomfortable now while we're healthy instead of being uncomfortable later under the lights when we're unhealthy. Okay? Listen, you don't think it's going to happen? It could happen just like that. Okay? There's people today in wheelchairs who'd give anything to do this workout with you. Okay? They can't. All right? So I'm just telling you, be grateful for it. So if you're suffering right now, good. And guess what? If you'll keep doing it 90 days from now, you won't suffer. <coughs> it's the truth. You'll have to keep doing harder to get like this. Okay? And you'll get addicted to it.